Brooks Composite High School is reaching new dimensions with technology. Three of them, to be specific. And it's given the staff a license to print a curriculum that today's 21st century teenager can grasp onto. It's been awesome. It's, uh, it's a real privilege because, I mean, you get to build things that I, I can imagine and program onto the computer. And then you just print it out and then to actually take shape before your eyes. One of the things that we're uh, able to do is uh, attract some interest with, uh, with our student population and say, yeah, that's something I'd like to try. It's uh, maybe out of my comfort zone, I'm maybe not really good with computers, but I like the things that they're able to make in there, so I think we've attracted a lot of interest in, in what we can do with that printer. Yeah, just about anything that can fit on the plate. Practical application of of uh, making a replacement part for a tripod for a, for a camera. I mean, those are the kinds of things that you just couldn't do. I mean, uh, if a plastic part broke, you were hooped. And now what we can do is uh, use uh, some design technology and computer programs, and we can actually manufacture it right on the spot. So um, it's just come light years from, uh, certainly from when I was a student, so. All made of plastic. Yeah, uh, we use a PLA. So a corn-based substance kind of thing, so it's a little more environmentally friendly. So now that BCHS has had this piece of technology for over a year, what would life be like without it? I wouldn't be taking this class. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be bored most of the time. And maybe um, increase some enthusiasm uh, for manufacturing uh, in southeastern Alberta. You'd have to go to the wood shop or the machine shop and build it with the wood and stuff, and that's that takes more time and more effort than really is necessary. Well, and, and the exciting thing is, is what are the possibilities for us moving forward? Um, so, I mean, now we're starting to see kids really get into the practical applications of it. While Brooks Comp said may have been the first high school in Canada to use a 3D printer. Mm, we'd love another one. <laughs> for Go Southern Alberta, I'm Dave Dawson.